안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Craft in Korea. Floss tube number 3. So, it has been a super long time since I made a video. Um the beginning of February, well actually all of February is a really busy time for me anyway because it's the end of the school year in Korea. So we're finishing up and my seven-year-old students will graduate kindergarten next week. Um, it's going to be sad, but it's going to be exciting too. Um, and then, so usually I'm very busy anyway, but then a couple weeks ago I got really sick and I couldn't do anything. No stitching and definitely no YouTube video. And then last week, uh, as many of you might know, was the Lunar New Year, and that was on Friday. It's a huge holiday here in Korea, and that just kind of means that you're supposed to spend time with family, and you get kind of busy, or if you're just on vacation, you're going to take a trip or something. So I was busy last weekend doing all that kind of stuff, and then um, now we're here this week finally making a video. Um, I have a lot to share with you guys, but first, let's start off with our Korean word lesson. I'm going to share two again this week, because um, it's kind of fun to learn more than just one, I think. So the first one we're going to learn is the word needle, because we, we need our needle to do our cross stitch, um, and needle in Korean is Banu, banu. So banu. That is needle. Uh, the second thing that we need for cross stitch is all important is floss. So the word for embroidery floss is jasu shil. Jasu shil. So jasu is embroidery. Um, sheep jasu, of course, is cross stitch, so you can kind of see how those go together. And then shil means is part of the ending that kind of makes it about thread. So, um, again, embroidery floss, jasu shil, jasu shil. So, that is embroidery floss. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy these lessons. Let me know in the comments if you have another one that you'd like to learn or you have some ideas. I love to hear it. Um, so, two words today. Needle, banu, and embroidery floss, ja su shil. So, I hope that you can maybe remember those. Uh, next, I got a stitchy gift. Ah, oh, so exciting! Um, I have made some purchases, which I'll tell you about later. Um, and so when this package arrived, I was a little confused. Uh, because I thought, mm, I didn't get the shipping information about that package and things that I ordered. So, I was confused. Um, and I had my name on it. It was actually uh, from My Stitch and Misfits. Yay! So Annie and Hanan sent me a stitchy gift. I was so happy. Um, they ordered me some special things from. And the first thing is oh, wait, we got two exciting things. The first thing I couldn't wait to show you guys, I guess that's supposed to be like a floss tube rule that you can't use things until you show them. Um, I broke the rules. Um, but the other thing that they sent is I didn't use yet, and that is my first fancy floss. So, not just DMCs, I have some fancy floss. They are Weeks Dye Works, um, and she sent four. Well, they sent four, my misfits. Um, the first one is just turquoise. You can see the color. So pretty. 
so pretty turquoise and then the next one is called Bordeaux it's a beautiful like burgundy red beautiful color the next one is called Envy so you can probably guess if you don't know already it's gonna be green so there's Envy I don't know how anyone gets their camera to focus because mine does not want to focus Okay, well, there's Envy. And the last one is called Purple Rain, and it's a blue and purple, uh, more variegated. It's really hard to get this to focus. If I hold it back here, is it better? Maybe. So, super gorgeous. So, I got my four... Weeks Dye Works. I love these jewel tony colors. They are awesome. Um, I feel like the colors are showing up really well in my video. I know a lot of people seem to have trouble with floss and fabric showing up, but that worked really well. Even if the names were blurry. Sorry guys. Um, so so excited about my first my first fancy floss. Um, I'm hoping to find a project. Um, in which I can use all four colors together. Um, maybe something like ink circles. Um, they have some really pretty like mandalas and stuff. So, yay! Okay, so the second thing that they sent me was Q-snaps. Yay! So excited! I didn't have any Q-snaps. I've been stitching in hand. And it hasn't been bad. I mean, I'm stitching on Ada, so it's easy. And um, I just wanted some. I thought, you know, that'd be so much easier and kind of sing awkwardly. And so I kind of mm, looking around. Um, shipping to Korea is expensive if you're buying stuff. Um, so you can't just buy one Q snap because shipping is more than Q snaps. So you have to buy a lot. And at the time, I really wasn't. Sure, I was going to really spend a lot of money yet on cross stitch, so I hadn't bought any. I'm um, still thinking about it, but now I have two. So thank you so much to my Stitch and Misfits. Um, well, let's, you want to see the Q-snap, so you got to see the project, so let's move on to our whips. So for whips, I have, of course, my Gay. The Soda Stitch Pattern. almost dropped everything. Um, so if you remember, this is the pattern. Um, so I have finished these three in the middle. I already finished. And I'm working on these three on this side. And I'm doing them separately so that it will, where is it? Finish like that one. This one here. That's my plan. Um, so here is a picture of where it was before. And I did finish one of the Norige. So here is a picture of it before and after backstitching. So now that you've seen all the photos, you want to see where we are. So here we are. So I finished this one completely. I finished and did the back stitching on this one. And I've started the third one. And actually, I only have like three, four colors left, I think. Um, maybe four colors. So there's, there's a blue one. A blue tassel here. And then... Um, some orange and yellow for like the gold parts and then of course back stitching so yay 
and this is my 8x8 Q-snap that I got from my Stitch and Misfits. So, yay! Uh, the next whip is, of course, my parrot. And I thought, you guys haven't seen the parrot in a while, like what the whole picture is going to look like. So, um, I thought I'd pull out the picture. And this is with my added back stitch, blah, 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 back stitch lines. Sorry about that. Um, I feel like it gives it more definition. It is watercolor, but I am doing it with less colors. Than the original pattern and I felt like some of the like definition like in the wing and in his head and around his eyes it kind of got lost so there's the parrot and here is oh here's where it was okay so and now here is where it is now and this is on my big 11 by 17 Q snap so it's pretty big. So what I'm working on is page six is right here. Actually it goes all the way up to like here. So this is page six. Um, and then what I've decided to do is as I come to colors in page six, if they're under 200 stitches, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish that color. So. I stitched some of this like brown color here and then I went ahead and finished this part down here and the same for this like dark green and it went down here and then went up over here and over there and down there like so just kind of finished it off um, so that later I'm not doing single stitches on these colors over here I'm just finishing up so Recently I just started a big block of yellow, so this darker yellow, and that's going to be a big block for his body and his head, so exciting. I feel like I've made some progress now. I was feeling, uh, last week, I guess I was feeling really unproductive on the parrot. He was in timeout for a while because I just didn't feel like I was making progress, and when I looked at the Norige, I was like, oh, I finished that one, backstitched, finish the next one, backstitch. So, bam, 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 I was making progress. And the parrot still looked the same. Um, but now I've got all that dark color on, it looks a lot more progress has been made. And um, so I'm excited to keep going with that. So, you've seen my whips. Um, Let's talk about finishes slash knitting. So I originally was planning on keeping my knitting and crochet separately. I don't do it as often now as I'm doing the cross stitch. I'm a lot slower. And so I wasn't sure that floss tube people would be interested. Um, but having been on the floss tubes in the last month, it seems some floss tubers really are interested in knitting and projects being made and even about learning to knit. So I thought I'd go ahead and share my, my floss tube. So if you want to know what kind of projects and whips I had in the go before today, um, go ahead and check out my Pearl Vision video. Uh, it says Pearl Vision number one, and I know it's super long. Um, the beginning is all about how I got into knitting, so you can just skip that um, and get to the projects and the yarn and seeing all my stuff. So, my finish is a winter hat. Um, it's a free pattern, and it is, I think it's called Cozy. Cozy winter hat or something. Um, link will be below down there. Um, it's got a cable and a lace section. I love that little simple lace. Let's see if I can show you the, put my hand in it. Can you see? There you go. So there's the lace. Little, just three little loops. Easy. And a cable all the way around. Um, 
I think the part of the pattern has a pom-pom on it. One, I don't have a pom-pom maker, and two, I don't think I would look good with a pom-pom. So I just have my little hat. Um, and so that's my finish. Yay! I've been wearing it since I finished it in like January. Um, so my whip for knitting is my Harris baby blanket. It's called the Harris baby blanket. It is not a free pattern. Um, but I'm sure you can find a similar blanket if you don't like that one. Um, I'll link it down below too. These links are also on my Pearl Vision video, but no one wants to go looking for things, right? Um, we're lazy floss tubers. <laughs> we just want to click on things. So um, here is my progress on that. So you can kind of see it's like a basket weave looking pattern. Um, and it has a little check border at the bottom. Um, when I started this, so in my Pearl Vision video as a whip, I had finished the bottom border and not even one repeat. I hadn't even finished the whole chart, like knitting chart one time. That's sad. But now I have finished it three and a half times altogether. So making a lot of progress. I'm really feeling this one going. Um, I've almost learned the chart completely now, so I can just knit, 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 knit really quickly. And look at that. I think it's going to be a great size. Um, I think I'd, this is like sock weight yarn, which is probably, it's not recommended. I think the recommended pattern is for worsted or bulky. And um, so I've cast on over 200 stitches. So, um, but I love it. I love the pattern. Um, and the ultimate question I always get asked these days is who is it for? And um, I kind of explained this in my other video, like I said, this blanket was started like three years ago. So there is no baby that it's intended for anymore because the baby that was supposed to receive it is not a baby. He's three. So, um, I'm just working on it. It's a simple, easy stitch. Um, I can see the progress on it pretty easily. And so, um, I'm going ahead and finishing it off. And one day when there is a baby somewhere, whether it's a friend, a sister, a brother, whatever, like if there's a baby, I'll be ready. Okay. I'll be ready for the baby. Um, so that's, my knitting whip. Okay, now we get to the goodies, the goodies that you guys want to see, and that's my new stash. Yay, stash. Okay, so what have I bought? Well, I'm still waiting on some things to be delivered. Um, and I have one more thing I need to order for my plans, but I will show you what I have bought. Um, I've actually bought two things, and the first, it's just the pattern. Um, this was stitched by Ginger Gerald, and then other people have been talking about it on Mania. Um, and I went ahead and I bought the planets, the solar system by Stem Stitch. So there's all nine planets. Okay, and and my plan is to stitch them together with the sun and the moon at one big piece of fabric. So here is the sun and the moon, and I think those are gorgeous, just gorgeous. So there you go. Um, so I've been working out kind of a placement plan based on the sizes and the stitches and I'm thinking I'm going to use some 28 count uh, linen. I think that's Bell. Is that Cashel is 28 count, I think. Um, and I've picked the color. I think I'm going to buy some from Hand Dye Stephanie. Hand Bot. Sorry, guys. Can't talk. 
So I picked the fabric and I think I'm going to go with Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie in a 28 Cashel Linen. I think that's right. And the color I believe is called Shale? Slate? No, Slate. It's called Slate. Um, so that's my plan. I'm still working on dimensions, so I haven't bought fabric yet. The other thing that I got, I'm really excited about, because um, I bought it first. So before I had Stitchy Gifts, before I decided to buy the fabric and everything for my planets, I hadn't even bought the planet patterns yet. I saw this really cute sloth on Instagram. And I looked at that sloth and I thought, mm, maybe, I don't know, maybe not. And then I kind of didn't do anything about it. And then I decided that I was going to do it. It was going to be fun. It's cute pattern and I'm going to do it. So I bought the Into the Jungle Sal from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Look at that sloth. He is so cute. And now there's two cans. And so obviously we're still waiting on these parts of the pattern because it's a mystery sal. So I'm excited. And I bought the whole kit with the Lugana. So I bought the Lugana kit. So actually my first hand dyed non Ada fabric um, that I will stitch on will be this Into the Jungles uh, Lugana. I believe it's 28 count Lugana from Picture This Plus in Shale. I think that's where the shale came from earlier. I can check. Give me two seconds. Let's see. Yes, 28 count Lagana in shale. So I bought the whole kit and it shipped and I'm just waiting for it to come. So yay. Uh, so hopefully next video I will have that to share with you if I can resist starting it when it gets here. Um, so those are my two purchases. Well, three purchases because the sun and the moon were separate. Um, so that's kind of brings us to the end to some shout outs and a finish, I guess. Um, so I really liked how Stitching with the Dachshund in her latest video talked about shouting out the little people and not just the big names that everybody watches. Um, so I have one main shout out um, today, well kind of two, and that's just because I haven't really been watching a lot of Floss Tube these days. Um, I've just been busy and sick and then I have been watching some bigger people that they don't need shout outs from me, just little old me. Um, so the first one is The Silent Stitcher. So The Silent Stitcher is a deaf floss tuber and she does her videos in American Sign Language with subtitles. It is awesome that she is not only a stitcher but she is undaunted by floss tube and YouTube videos um, and so I just think that's so cool and I was turned on to her by Top Knot Stitcher um, so she was the one who mentioned it first and I thought what a deaf youtuber I have to go check this out so um, I actually went to university um, at a school that is paired with a deaf university. So my first year of university, I learned American Sign Language. I had deaf friends. Um, it was a really fun and amazing experience. But that culture is really important to me still. And so when I found out, not only is she on FlossTube, but she wants to remind everyone 
to put subtitles on their videos, I could not not. So I'm still working on fixing the auto subtitles on my videos, but this video will be uploaded with subtitles, so it's good to go. Um, and I just want everyone to just take the time. It might take an extra 15 or 20 minutes to re-watch your video and correct the subtitles, but YouTube does a pretty good, I say pretty good, I maybe I just speak really clearly, uh, with the auto CC, so I'm getting kind of rambly, guys, but please, please subtitle your videos for her um, and for anybody else who wants to watch them. Um, I know sometimes I can't uh, use sound, and if I want to watch a floss tube, it would be great to have subtitles because I don't mind reading sometimes. I'm here to see the floss, right? I'm here to see the cross stitch, and um, so for me, I just that was really important to me, and it really made me excited to just spend an extra 20 minutes and add those subtitles. So those are my two shout outs: Top Knot Stitcher and the Silent Stitcher, and so excited! Um, so check them out. And that's kind of it for this time. Um, not a super long video. I did ramble a bit. Sorry, guys. Um, but I'm back, and I hope to be back again in like two weeks and show you some progress on not only my Norige, but also on my parrot, and show you my new stash that hopefully will be coming in soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!